good night everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mimi hitting you up with a video tonight my lighting is not so um, hundred tonight but I'm assuming you're able to see me and most importantly hear me um, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my redeemer too many times we're going through loneliness or we're merely not living but existing in this world we're just you know passerby going through the motions of what the world quote unquote is offering and stuff and while we may be blessed with financial wealth or we may be blessed with enough to survive we may be blessed with a home we may be blessed with businesses and stuff there's still that loneliness and that void that need to be filled and when you have gone through the process of hurt and pain and you have gone through so many things or instances wherein your trust have been broken you are afraid to you are afraid to open up or let go um per se to make friends or you know make meaningful um friendship with anyone so you keep everyone at bay with question questionable intentions and once they do something that triggers the moment that you are moving from you uh regress back to the ways that you were and the fear has now become your neighbor not many people will understand what i'm saying if you have not gone through the situation where your trust has been broken by a partner a friend a loved one a family member or even a mere associate wherein you thought that you could trust them with certain things and you know you end up in the situation wherein you can't um trust them or they have broken your trust or they have left you in a time when you needed them the most i for one i when i feel as though i'm getting close to somebody or somebody is getting close to to me i normally push them away because of my past um my past instances that I've been through. So I regress and I go in my shell like a turtle and I, you know, shut down. Once I'm going through pain or I'm feeling any form of discomfort wherein I have to open up or have to explain to somebody who I am or I have to share with somebody who I am, I become closed. I close myself off to the person or you know you know mere avoidance until i feel as though they have stopped and then i go back to my normal self and i am a loner by nature and you know it has been um affecting me a bit lately providing that there are certain joys and sadness that i want to share and i really have nobody to share them with and with the level of um communication or communi communicable behaviors that I have or abilities it is not easy to find someone who I can share um, my thoughts with or even have a conversation that is meaningful with with a lot of people because my mind processes things a total in a totally different way in a way wherein the average Jane you know may not understand or even if I dumb it down a bit for them to understand it it is quite challenging so it's 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 really really hard for me to make friendship and I realized something about me as I am on a path of self-discovery that I am like a layer of onion I'm like an onion with many layers when you feel as though you have unlocked a part of me there are still several layers to go and I'm very particular who I share myself with I am very 
closed off as to <laughs> as to whom I let in and I may break off a friendship over the simplest matter because it's a trigger of what I have been through in my book it speaks about my wounds that have been healed and over time the process in which I used to you know heal these wounds and it's a working process so tonight I am being vulnerable with my audience in sharing you know the minute things that makes me who I am I am strong I'm a strong woman I have endured and overcame things that will break other people not that you have not been through anything I don't know what you have been through but I know the things that I've been through um they were so bad some of them so bad wherein you know it affected my mental health it affected my physical being and if it wasn't for the Lord on my side I don't know where would I be right now and I thank God for staying with me and sticking me with me and reminding me that he was right there beside me going through the process and and taking me back to where I deserve to be I'm still working on me I'm I have a long way to go I have my wounds to heal I have um I have a lot of uh, 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 sharing to do wherein you know to be lucid wherein other people can understand and heal from what I'm saying and find hope in what I'm saying as well and I trust that you know we will form a relationship wherein you know I will pray for you guys and you do the same for me not everybody's you know should pray for you anyways but you know you just send us out a blessing and I will do same so I pray tonight that whatever it is that you're going through I pray that you heal through it you grow through it and you stick on to the fulfillments of God God bless you God keep you may he light may his light shine upon you and may you have the ability to do anything that you put your mind to your heart and soul and why I pray that your wounds they find that healing process and I pray that God bless people, put people in your life who is a blessing and will help you on your journey. God bless you. Have a blessed evening.